Man, one of the first things I see when I come into this game, I went to the pictures because I was curious before I started this episode of uh, what the hell was like there, like what did I miss? Apparently this, this nice lovely image of Monica taking you by the hand, dragging you into the what looks to be a park or something because the pathway kind of leads out, you know? And I got that from completing all the side stories. So you know what that means? That means we're going to actually go into the side stories and complete the equals side story. Let's get into it one final time. Okay everyone, we're gonna be taking a break from the usual activities today. I was thinking since people are starting to talk about the festival, it's a good time for us to go over the general direction of the club and all that. I think it'll help us figure out what to do for the festival, you know? Oh, Sayori and I already came up with a good plan. Really? For the festival? Yeah, so the plan is this, okay? You and Yuri collect information ahead of time on which clubs and classes are doing food booths. Then we take a map and plan the most efficient route so we can get the most of them before the line gets too long. Hey, that has nothing to do with the club. Well, he didn't let me finish. All right, fine, go ahead. Right, so basically we get all the food we can, then we come back here and we all eat together. That's all. Wow, I got tricked twice by the same joke. Boo. Don't be a hater. It's not like you can come up with anything better. Look, even Yuri was thinking about it. N no, I wasn't. I would really prefer to do something literature related. We can eat together any time. The festival is a unique opportunity. Besides, it's been quite a while since we've seen any new interest in the club. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. We really get a shot at showing people what the literature club is all about. I'll tell you what, we could do both, right? We'll make time for your food mission and still put together a public event. Wait, do I hear a warsat dropping from orbit? Oh my gosh, yes! I was just joking, but that's a really good idea. <laughs> well, I'm glad that's settled. I think the question is how to come up with an event that demonstrates everything you get out of the literature club. Well, that's kind of tough because everyone gets something different out of the club. Okay, how about this? Let's go around and have each of us talk about what we've gotten out of the club so far. That could really help us figure out what kind of reputation we want to build. Yeah! That's too embarrassing. Ah, but you don't have to talk much about it. That's exactly why. And I'm sure Natsuki feels the same way. Well, maybe, but I didn't plan on arguing against it or anything. I mean, the literature club, we talk about that stuff together, right? And the only way to get more comfortable with it is to suck it up and do it. Oh, you're not wrong. I'm sorry for being resistant. It's not good to say suck it up because it sounds like their feelings don't matter. Right, my bad. It's just a habit I need to break. Well, anyway, who's gonna start? I'll start. I was the first to join, after all. <laughs> Wouldn't that be me? No, I want to go first. Fine, fine. You can start. I don't mind. Yay! So, gosh, it feels like so long ago. I think I joined because I wanted to have fun sharing poems with people. It seems like it would be the safest way to express myself, you know? Like, if it's just a poem, then I can share it without feeling like I'm a burden to everyone with my problems. Problems. And I thought it would be a really good way to get to know other people too. So yeah, I was really surprised when I walked in and it was just Monica. And <laughs> she was sleeping. <laughs> Don't remind me of that. Oh gosh. Yeah, but it seemed like so much fun to start a new club. Especially since writing helped me so much, I wanted to see it help other people too. But it ended up being me who was inspired, because I remember feeling like Monica was just so sweet and mature and that I couldn't trust her with anything. It made me feel a lot of less alone, having someone who knew even the bad things about me. And at that point, I knew the literature club was going to be special for a lot of people. Yeah, I felt the same way. It really helped me give the club a more cohesive vision. Yeah, and then Yuri joined, but she was so different from us. And Natsuki too. I think for Yuri, it helped for me to take the lead before she was able to open up a little. But Natsuki was kind of the opposite, where she wasn't ready to get really close to someone real quickly. I never really thought about that sort of thing. It really felt like I've gotten better with understanding people's needs. And that makes me really happy, because my friends are just the most important thing to me. And whatever new members we get, I want to help them in those ways too. I don't know if I would have continued coming to the club if it weren't for you. Really? Um, I know it wasn't too long ago, but it hurts to think about my behaviour back then. I was really short-sighted. The only reason I came was to find others who were into fantasy. I suppose that was my idea of making friends with people. And I remember feeling uncomfortable because you and I have such different energy. I had such a specific idea of the kind 
kind of person I could be friends with. So when Sayori tried so hard to get to know me, I felt like I was just wasting her time. I think I was too naive to assume that similar interests were the key component of friendship. Sayori and I were able to be friends because she always thinks about the needs of other people. That's something I never knew how to do or even thought to do. But I stayed in the club thanks to that and I started trying as hard as I could to understand people better. You really went above and beyond when it came to that. I was just super impressed. Well, I always hated that I didn't know how to behave like a person who was easily liked by others like the two of you can. And because of that, I spent so much time thinking about my own behaviour and all the wrong things I said. But the whole time, I should have been thinking about other people instead, not myself. Once I started doing that, I was able to make friends with everyone else. Oh, also, I discovered that sometimes I'm a better communicator when I take the time to write rather than speak. It's so strange the way things turned out. It's so far different from anything I have ever expected. But I'm happy. I suppose we don't always know what we really need. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You're so cute. I think I'm gonna throw up. Okay, please don't do that, Sayori. Besides, I'm not cute. Hey, isn't that my line? Oh, well, for me, it's actually true, so... What are you saying? Nothing. I finished my part, so somebody else take their turn. My heart! Sayori, take some deep breaths. Okay, fine, I'll go. Yuri, I can't believe you were complaining about doing this and still went before me. What a show-off. Uh, I was just following up on Sayori. It was the easiest way to get it over with. Besides, you left out the most important thing that you can get out of this club. I did? Yeah, a regular supply of your favourite cupcakes. Oh no, I forgot that too. I'm a traitor to the cupcake queen. Neither of you are forgiven. Looks like only Monica will be getting cupcakes next time. No! I can't eat that many cupcakes. Yeah, true. Only Yuri can. Hey. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm just putting off talking. It's kind of hard to talk about this stuff. But I guess what it comes down to is that I'm in such a better place mentally than I was when I first joined. And that's because everyone helped me realize that I had some really toxic friendships going on outside the club. It was honestly a really painful thing to go through, having to cut them all out. It still hurts to think about. I'm sorry, Natsuki. It's fine. I knew it was for the best and it was right. I guess for me it's all about feelings. I was only ever ridiculed for having feelings so I thought the right thing to do was just ignore them. It took me a really long time to realise that it's not really how things are supposed to work. And I guess that's thanks to everyone who took the time to respect my feelings even when I was being like the biggest jerk. I'm really sorry for being such a jerk to everyone. I really was the worst. Natsuki's voice chokes a little. We love you, Natsuki. I just hate that I was like that. Everyone did so much for me, and I could never do anything in return. That's not true. Natsuki, you've done a lot more than you think. This club really wouldn't have been the same without you. I mean that. Remember how judgmental I was when you first showed up? It was like, I couldn't accept anything other than my own idea of what a literature club was supposed to be. Apparently that was more important to me than the opportunity to bring you some happiness. You really taught me that anything that makes someone happy is worthy of respect. You even inspired me to start playing piano. That's something that means a whole lot to me. So there's no need to put yourself down. Okay. Natsuki wipes her eyes. You help me a lot too. It's so much fun to have you around. And you help me become a better person. Having a problem doesn't make you needy or inconvenient. It means that there's something that needs to be better for you. And you always deserve that. I agree. Seeing us have some of the same struggles made me a better person as well. I wouldn't want to change anything about our time here. I don't think any of us would. I'm sorry, I got all dramatic again. That's all I wanted to say, so Monica, you can go now. There's no need to apologize. It was something I wanted to talk about anyway, because it made a big difference for me. I was always such a strict perfectionist, who never took enough time to believe in the best of other people. But everyone kept proving me wrong. I made the mistake multiple times thinking that my way was the best for everyone, or thinking that I was needed to solve other people's problems. But I think being a leader means that you have to acknowledge 
that you're not perfect and that the best thing you can do is to help guide people rather than to do everything for them. We're all good people. We're all equals. I think that's what's most important thing I've gotten out of the whole club. Realizing what that really means. <laughs> Sayori, what are you doing? I just thought that we should be writing some of these things down. Things about the club that are valuable to us. With a piece of chalk in her hand, Sayori writes the words trust on the chalkboard. This is because you've shown me that I could trust you with everything about me, not just my good side. Suddenly Yuri takes a piece of chalk as well. She writes understanding. I I owe a lot of gratitude to everyone who took the time to understand me, even though it was so difficult for me to express myself. Um, in that case, Malika takes a piece of chalk as well and writes the word respect. I always thought I was a respectful person, but it took the club for me to realize that there's more to it than I thought, and I'm a better person because of it. I have another one! Sayori writes balance. Sometimes people want different things out for friendship, or they need time before they're ready to become close. So it's important to keep things balanced between you and the other person. That reminds me. Yuri writes reflection. I've always been a reflective person, but most of it has been nothing more than hating myself for all the things I thought I did wrong. Once I started reflecting on other people, and not just myself, a lot of things changed for me. So I think that's the most important one for me. And that's great. We have a whole list of things now. Suddenly everyone looks at Natsuki. Well, everyone took all the chalk. Don't look at me like that. Sheesh. You could have just asked. Malka hands her a piece of chalk to Natsuki. Then Natsuki sighs and writes self-love. I don't know how far I've gotten with it yet, but it feels like things are at least on the right track. So there, that's my contribution. Together, everyone stares at the words on the board. Wasn't this club supposed to be about literature? It is! We still have a lot of literature. Friendship and literature. Yeah, you're right. Friendship and literature. Natsuki and Yuri gently nod as well. Hey, let's all take a picture. We don't have one yet, right? Hey! You're right. Make sure you send it to me after. Wait, can I brush my hair first or something? Ah, oh, you're fine. You already have the best hair out of all of us. Um, everyone get together. I can't fit you all in. Okay. Okay. Everyone ready? And click. Oh, are we not going to see the picture? Ah, here, come on, that's such a missed opportunity. I'm really glad we talked about this stuff. It's easy to forget how far we've come with only four members. Yeah, I have so many happy thoughts right now. I'm getting some really good inspiration for a poem. You know, I feel the same way. I kind of want to get some writing done. Me too! I think I would like that as well. Everyone's looking at me again. I'll do it too, but I might not feel like sharing it. That's okay. The four members of the literature club disperse and return to their desks, each equipping themselves with a pen. Natsuki and Yuri give each other a quick glance, then start writing immediately. Sayori stretches and does the same, but Monica is left tapping her pen against the paper, unsure of where to start. Just move your hand. Monica mouths to herself. Right the way into your heart. Her mind full of thoughts, memories and inspiration, Monica navigates past her mental barriers and begins to write. It doesn't matter what, just that it's something new. Oh. See, usually the background wouldn't disappear before thing unless it was all glitchy. Oh man, hear the tune! Oh, that's it! Oh man! Oh, that's mad. It's so weird now just finally seeing the credits for this. They're very smooth looking, I must say. Yeah, sorry guys, I meant to say, but I worked on this game as well as the DT Plus uh, content programming definitely ah <laughs> oh, vibe hearing the tune remix is so weird ah i'm glad they used this in the outro because it makes sense as well because the old outro kind of used pictures that you uh got through the series as well and could have got ah it's making my heart ache just looking at them like this man say Oh, there we go. There's the DDLC Plus tune kicking in from the trailer. Again, we'll check out a few other things just before I put the series to rest for a bit. Because this is basically my last recording session with this game, unless there's other things that I'm missing majorly. Thank you, dear player, for enjoying our story of friendship and literature. No problem. Played with Love by Team Selvato. And Serenity Forge. I was about to say where they are. There's the picture! Let's go! I was like, yeah, there's no way they wouldn't, like, use the thing. 
Achievement unlocked, friendship and literature. Right, so pictures. Because obviously we got to use that picture we saw at the last bit of... Oh, we have two different ones. Everyone say cheese. And now make a funny face. <laughs> Let's just set it as that. So I think I'm just going to finally end this episode here. I won't say it's the finale, but I will say it's the final for now. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, obviously like it. Comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. This has been me playing Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, and I hope you guys have a good time.